The Cisco Catalyst 9136i, a Cisco's first Wi-Fi 6E access point, has an incredible hexaradio architecture and many other features that make it our current flagship product. This video will demo the port redundancy feature, which provides high availability for the Catalyst 9136i. The AP has two 5 gig ports, and port redundancy works when connecting both ports to PoE sources. One of these ports will be deemed primary, and another as secondary. While the primary PoE is up, the AP will only draw power from that source. If the primary PoE goes down, the AP will immediately switch to using the secondary source, thus avoiding an AP shutdown or even restart. Port redundancy is a powerful feature, especially for mission-critical environments where the wireless network outage could result in direct monetary loss. Here, I have my Catalyst 9136i with both ports connected to a PoE switch, with my entire network monitored on Cisco DNA Center's topology page. Hovering over the connection, you can confirm two connections are going to the same switch. If I went ahead and removed one of the cables from the AP, you will observe that the LED remains enabled, and this means that port redundancy has worked, and the AP has now switched to using the secondary PoA source. To further validate, from Cisco DNA Center, a red line will be displayed between the AP and the switch, meaning one of the two connections has been lost. However, you can still see a blue connection representing the secondary PoE source that has now been assumed as primary. If we navigate to the AP's Device 360 page and scroll over the health, you can observe there has been no break in the score, meaning there was no outage and that port redundancy has worked.